Can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? I got it! Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, three, seven? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. N no, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh! Yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? No, it's just... Uh, look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one, one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Ah, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was one, one, but... Looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa, you might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> I love I'm really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Oh my god! Now I see! She wrote down the killer's name! Huh? You just shot past the clue card and right on to who did it! So, whose name did she write? Here's my answer! The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L-E-O-N. L-E-O-N, or more accurately, Leon. What? What the hell are you talking about? It's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. That sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? You mean, the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off, and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? <laughs> But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button-up. That, that's right! There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. 
You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. Closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. You need the key to get in, and the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> the cue to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the enemy. No, that's wrong! Hold on! I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate... You couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it, some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but... Uh... But how would you use it? I got it! The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that... through a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before, Hibumi? had the key, so the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge. Was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they got the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? that that's right! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... I got it! Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star! Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I, I'm not the killer! 
These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! You still won't admit it? Okay then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. And the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. Take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. The killer is... you! During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remained, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her.
And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Isn't that right, Leon? It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit! It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it! Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. When the killer removed the screws from the door... Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. I refuse to acknowledge you! You're stupid! 
Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid, 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 stupid! When the killer removed the screen... Where's your proof? You hit me? Not a chance! It wasn't me! Stupid! You lied! Stop talking! Shut up! Where's your proof? You hit me? Not a chance! You lied! Shut up! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance! It wasn't me! Where's your proof? This should prove it! The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove that. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the tool kits we got each had one inside. That must be what he used! There aren't any other tools anywhere! But the tool kit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room! They thought they were inside Sayaka's room! Only the boys got toolkits, so the killer naturally assumes there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited! Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Hold on. But, but... 
You son of a bitch! I... I didn't have a choice. So... that's why... None of you are any different! I was just... <laughs> unlucky, that's all. Be there for me. I need you on my side. That's enough. Calm down. Ba-bam, ba-bam. Yes, indeed! Pun punishment? You mean... execution? Wait a second! Yeah, that's it! Is that okay? Hmm... Do you understand? So, that's why... Oh! Prepared a very 
very special punishment! No, 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 no! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! No! Just a second. Makoto. Listen. It's true.
However, so certainly. Anyway, right. Correct. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 